Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Split 2 Last Chance Qualifier. I'm Taylor Reflections Noble, joined by Ryan Reinfeld Summers, who just got off an amazing matchup between, of course, ALRM and uh, Double R, which, by the way, Double R was a favorite of mine to make it through, but AL ALRM had different things in mind. What do you test that victory to, Ryan? Because you watched a lot of it, obviously, you casted it. How do you think they were able to get that victory? Yeah, I mean, map number one was all about teamwork and rotations. Obviously, these guys have played together for a while outside of Rocky, so they've uh, got a lot of chemistry and, and got, again, a lot of just existing um, teamwork sort of baked into what they do. And then map number two, man, that came down to me to composure, right? That came down all the way to the wire, round number nine, basically down to the final fight. So to me, that was really the difference maker and what was a very, very back and forth map number two. So uh, yeah, it's ALRM team. This is hot. This is one of the teams that I thought coming into it would be one of the two to make it through. They got to be old men to do it, though. Well, so what I think we're looking at is potentially the top two teams in the tournament, right? Well, very well, we are, right? We're looking at old men, old men uh, ALRM. I'm going to have to get used to saying that because I'm not going to lie. I was calling them alarm earlier until I was listening to you guys call them ALRM. Regardless, though, both of these teams have the very real chance of being a pro league team, right? And I think right now this is going to be a big moment for both rosters. For me, I had to favor old men coming into it. But after watching that matchup for ALRM, they just look good. It's going to come down to me for teamwork and capitalizing on those 2v1 situations, right? Utilizing those teamworks uh, effectively because that's one of the things I felt uh, really hurt old men in a couple of ways when they were going against <clears throat> Remedy. They weren't capitalizing in those moments where they had the two to one man advantage. And because of that, we saw players such as Red uh, Red Nine or Days pick up huge 1v2 situations. Remember when uh, Red Nine ended up picking up that four piece, right? These are big plays that should not be happening. And it's because they're not utilizing teamwork effectively and they're giving up that player a 1v1, even though it should be a 1v2 or 1v3. Do you think at all ALRM, did they give up many of those situations much like uh, Old Men did earlier? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, they're a team who's, who's not perfect either, right? So every team is, is a little susceptible to, to giving up those plays. One thing I will say about the mm. side of Old Men is you mentioned how they let certain plays pop off right? and I get the four piece, all that stuff. One thing to keep in mind, too, with this matchup is that they got a bollocks over on the side of ALRM, and a bollocks True. is better than every single player that they've played against so far. So he's a guy who you saw pop off for plenty of two pieces in that last matchup. You know if you give him just a, just a, just a tiny amount of room to work with, that he can make a play happen. So they got to lock up. They got to make sure they secure those numbers advantages when they get them, because if you let a team like ALRM continue to slip into it, you see what happens, right? A bollocks, Rocky, all these guys, man, they continue to try to make plays to keep their team into the round. Let's take a look at our pick and band, see the maps we're rolling with, and see if we see any familiar maps from before. We've got District, Training Grounds, and Asylum. I'm actually really sad we didn't get the chance to cast Harbor and Foundation together. Uh, we've been casting the old tried and true Gears 5 maps. That's okay, though. We'll go back to the, the old tried and true. What do you think about this map rotation? Not what I thought from before, right? These are three maps that uh, we see quite a bit here in Gears 5. So again, maps and in theory, both of these teams should have plenty of reps on, of course, instead of the tried and true. Obviously, you know, I love to get a good old tiebreaker on Asylum. That's still my favorite map in the game. So I'd love to see a good old tiebreaker come down to the wire on Asylum. But nonetheless, man, it's going to be a good series. Like I said, Training Grounds is a map that plays definitely very different for v 4 So it's going to be a fun one. District was a map that was played earlier with old men. They ended up facing off against Ramity, and uh, they it was actually the third and final map that they were able to take five to three and uh, get that victory. A couple of shaky moments, though, right? That was the map again where, uh, you know, we saw big plays from Red Nine. We saw big plays from Days. Uh, but for the most part, old men seem to be in control. So ALRM, they're going to have their hands full there. Whoever wins that map, number one, though, it, it's going to be pretty telling. And uh, I think going into training grounds, it, it could be a 2-0. And, and, and in reference to old men, let's not forget how well they played training grounds, which is why they ended up picking it for their map pick, right? They were able to get that 5-1 to victory at one point leading 4-0. They only lost one map or only one round. They looked unstoppable. So ALRM has to find a way to break them down. Yeah, definitely. You're going to have to contest them at that fight over on the U. We know how strong players like Detox can be at those fights. Detox was having his way with the Remedy roster when we watched them play that map. So we're going to see what the boys on ALRM have in store again. A little different animal, in my opinion. So I think this is going to be a much, much closer matchup. And I'm not mm. really sure how to call this one, honestly, Taylor. Both of these teams are playing at a very, very high level. Both of these teams have players that have been in the pro league teams that expect to be in the pro league, right? These are players, again, you talk about a bollocks on the side of ALRM was on that noble team sure. that was very, very right. well could have been a very, very high placing team, right? They put in probably a little more, a little more time into practice than you have, of course, the old 
core of Hive. Again, just a lot of very, very well accomplished players on both sides. This is going to be a very, very fun matchup. Of course, we have the three most sort of tried and true maps when it comes to the cycle. So this is pretty much just cut out to be, in my opinion, hopefully a really good one. I, I think it will be a good one. I wouldn't be surprised if we get to or see several round nines also get to game number three. I think it's just on the way, right? I mean, especially between these two talented teams. They understand what's at risk. They understand their pro league spot is literally within grasp, and they're not going to let that go to waste. Uh, who wants to go to loser bracket, right? I mean, granted, they dropped on a loser bracket. I still think they're going to be the top team in loser bracket regardless, but you don't want to play that extra series. Who would when it's guaranteed? To get you a victory here, uh, or obviously at least guaranteed a pro league spot if you take the take the win. You mentioned though earlier on in our first cast was you know how important four v four is whenever it comes to individual talent. You've been talking about abolics constantly. Obviously, we have detox on the other side who's been playing so so well tonight. It's going to be abolics versus detox, and quite honestly, if one of those members doesn't show up, I think the team is going to suffer tremendously. Yeah, those are two kind of X-Factor players for sure. Obviously, there's a ton of individual skill across the board on both sides. But so far, what we've seen today is Zabalix on the side of ALRM. And then obviously, we know Detox has put up big numbers sure. pretty much on every team he's ever been on, right? He's been a player who always likes to light up the kill feed. He's a guy who's going to pop off for a lot of two pieces. So I think, the, at least I expect both of those players to be putting up big numbers. Both of those players to be making those big plays. And again, I'm with you. And I think this is going to be a series that I hope to see push the distance, right? Like, I would hate to see like a, a, what looks like such a good matchup just be some sort of like blowout, right? That'd be no fun. I want to see this one go all the way the distance again. Pro League spot on the line, two you know sets of teams that have guys that have been around for a while. I don't think nerves are going to really come into the mix here at all. I think that just the better team's going to get the spot here. So we talk about abolics, we talk about detox. What about tidy, right? Tidy is usually the player who likes to go off on his own. He, you know, like let's say on asylum, we won't see that obviously in this rotation, but you know, he's the one who likes to challenge streets. And so while the other players, you know, go down, go down low and, uh, you know, attack on, on, uh, on tracks, who is going to be the guy though, from ALRM, who's going to be challenging tidy in those, in those critical one V ones, because let's not forget if those one V ones are one, right. That opens up the door to go for the overextension to get a, a additional home hill, maybe to get that neutral. Who's going to be challenging tidy. Yeah. I mean, it kind of, to me comes down to sort of the map and the situation. Obviously we know tidy's a player who does a little bit of everything, right. He's always been a player that like when he's playing his old high rosters, especially he always kind of gets buried by, by some of like the individual players. You obviously think of guys like Noe, like TJ demise, all these guys that are very, very flashy and tidy makes a lot of just very, very sound and smart plays. And a lot of times that doesn't always get the shine it does when you, when you have your teammate reaction shot three piecing on the other end. Right. So I think he's a guy that to me is going to be sort of an X factor for this team. And the fact that just, he needs to be able to be there to support, the, the playmakers around him. He needs to be there to put, put guys like Detox in a good position. I mean, you mentioned sort of who's going to be there for the 1v1 fights. I mean, it could be a guy like Morality, maybe. He's another player who doesn't necessarily get the same shine, right? When you got a guy like Abolix and Rocky, you know, reaction shot three-piecing people as well. So those are the kind of the guys I look out for to, to do the little things that don't always necessarily reflect in the scoreboard, do the little things that don't always show up in the feed as much, but have such an impact. Oh, here we go, guys. We are getting underway. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch as these two Titans battle it out. Guys, again, this is for a pro league spot so there is a lot weighing on this series and whenever it comes to district alrm said this is the one we want to start off with and for good measure i guess they perform very well on it but a bit of a standstill right we don't see that mid battle taking place both teams uh, absolutely respecting each other but finally the first push going and detox is at the forefront gets a full spread on one but doesn't capitalize on the other but demise is there for the help but he's got to be careful he's full red he did have some lancer fire coming at him from rocky so he distanced himself now he's going right back in. If he picks up this elimination, this could be big. You see Abolix just kind of pinned back there, trying his best to get a kill on the way out, but he's going to be collapsed. Demise, shock, shock back rolls, but he does get the down, but the trade is going to be there. Good teamwork coming through from old men. That's going to give them that two cap tidy. Right now in a 1v1 versus Landarchy Taylor. You mentioned these scenarios. Looks like Landarchy yep. is going to be his first victim. That's a big kill that now gives them a good amount of positioning. They obviously have the numbers. They have the two cap. Now it's about reacting, right? Where is this ALR team going to strike next? That's what I was saying. Tidy is going to be an influential factor to old man, right? Especially if, if he's going against Lanarchy time and time again. If he wins that 1v1, he theoretically gets Bravo every single time, depending if, of course, that they don't push it. And we have the same initial that we had last time. They were really trying to focus in on that overextension. Uh, overextension wasn't one, but Oben got what they wanted, right? They've got a really nice lead, and now ALRM has to get desperate. They've got to push forward, and they probably have one or two good pushes left before they're going to have to chalk up the round. You do have two members 
Rivers, though, from ALRM. That's going to be a Bollix as well as Lanarchy. They're going to be all over Bravo, looking to lock it in place. The decap is coming in, but they can't get it just yet. Those neutrals, the Lancer fire, it's just too much pressure. You can see the kill feed starting to light up blue, tidy. Slowly playing this, just diving, dodging, ducking, doing all the right things <laughs> over at the neutral hill. Morality in a very tough spot. He's going to be surrounded by players. That's going to be four members down for ALRM, and there's just not enough time to make a move, Taylor. This was a very, very well played round by old men from start to church. Sure. 100%, you know, and it started off with that initial, the way that they gained control. Uh, uh, you know, Tidy, again, winning that 1v1 was absolutely critical. Lanarchy is going to have to step it up. It's only one round, though. Both teams are going to be filling each other out. I'm sure we're going to see some audibles be thrown into the mix. So this isn't everything that these uh, both teams have to bring to the table. But again, a great start. Abolix, the only one with an elimination to his name. Everybody else sitting at a big, fat goose egg. All at zero. And hopefully this doesn't get away from ALRM to the point where they're going to have to get desperate, uh, you know, throw down a drop shot or a torque bow to change up the fight, right? That's just kind of the default. They do that. They're going to fall behind. They're going to fall behind in terms of a retro, fall behind in terms of incense or a talon, right? You take your pick depending on when they place it. Curious how this is going to unfold. But either way, business as usual, we got bull talks. Yeah, I expect to see a lot of the secondary stuff sort of build up and mirror itself like it does. I don't think we'll see a lot of centerline action for another few rounds if we do see it, but... To me, these are the fun rounds, right? I like these very clean rounds. I like when a lot of the teamwork and the individual skill can shine through. We'll see what they have in store. We'll see if ALRM and, uh, can fight back here on round two. Once again, you're going to have that Tidy versus Lanarchy fight that you were mentioning. On the other side of the map, it looks like Shock is going to fall for his demise, potentially there for the trades. Lanarchy knows that his team is potentially winning the fight on the other side of the map, so he's going to go ahead and just try to stay alive. He's not going to push Oof. the tempo when he doesn't need to. Now Detox trying his best to fight for his life. A 2v1 scenario gets a couple nice shots onto Evolus. Can he make it a second, Taylor? We talked about this guy doing it. Ooh. He almost gets it done, but trade is going to be there. ALRM starting to take control. But again, again, in that 2v1, right, Detox was able to isolate a 1v1 in both situations. Even though he ends up falling, he could have got that two-piece, and that would have been because ALRM didn't fully commit on it. Regardless, though, they got a great start. It was because they were able to take out those two players on the overextension. Now they rotated back. They're on Bravo, and they're going to manage to get that neutral for the first time in this district matchup. So good on them. Now it's all about holding it. And it looks as if right now player two and three, Detox and Shock, they're looking to pressure back Lanarchy as well as Rocky. And uh, if they could do so, that'd be big because right now player seven from ALRM Abolix, he's in that neutral position, but he can't really do anything about it because Demise is also in the neutral position. So at this point, old men do have an advantage to get the break. Yeah, you can see him getting some initial damage in. Still trying to just feel out where that first kill it's going to be had, of course, about a 40-point lead for ALRM. Still plenty of round to go, though, as old men are getting close to that 100-point mark. And right now, you can see Detox knows he can't just hop over to the hill. There's a lot of players set up sort of all around the map for the side of ALRM, but they're starting to push them back step by step. You're going to see Demise start to move forward. He has the mark onto a box. Detox starts to move his way forward, but Shock ends up actually going down. So Detox in a spot where he's got to make a huge play. Mm. It's the first spread, but that's not going to be enough. Three members do go down for old men, and now Tidy left to pick up the pieces. Uh, and this is this is it. ALRM is going to take this round. I don't think player four can get there in time. And even if he does, he's going to get chunked. So there it is. ALRM ties it up one to one again off the back of a great initial. Saw a lot of great plays, though, from old men. It just wasn't enough to bring it out. Detox again. He pulled off many heroics, but uh, ALRM was just getting the better of them in the last, uh, you know, the last case situation. So overall, good job from them. We're all tied up, which means we're not going to see anything funky in the center line. Like you said, you predicted it to be mirrored up, and I think that's exactly what we'll get if the rounds continue to trade off. So we got the retros for both ends. That'll be cool to have, especially for those neutral positions uh, when someone's trying to take over Bravo. But let's see how this one goes. Last time they challenged uh, Bandstand really hard. Then we saw them go for B. Where'd they go now? From this world. I mean, initially, you're going to see, again, a lot of a lot of the same, right? You're going to see a couple players matched over in the secondaries, one in the middle, and then one at that 1v1 spot. Bollock's tagged up quite a bit, though, off spot. I think that old men realize that, and he's starting to get pushed back. You see Detox getting awfully aggressive, but the counter utility does come through, and Abolix is able to secure the first kill. That's going to push Demise all the way on his back foot, tries to stay alive, but you can see that pistol fire coming through yet again. So Abolix will pick up a second kill, and now... There's a very quick four versus two advantage coming through from ALRM. Ooh. But Abolix unfortunately jumps right over the cover. Shock is going to be there waiting. That should at least slow them down. 
Yeah, in that first fight, highly unfortunate. Demise was going for the flank. He needed uh, Detox to stay up. Once he fell, his only option was to go for the overextension. He ended up getting lancered out by the two players from ALRM falling behind. Uh, but all is not lost, right? They only have about a six-point deficit, and they're already trying to push back ALRM at this point. And they've got three members around Bravo, plus they're challenging the neutral position. And that's going to be Shock onto player seven, onto a Bollix. That fight's still underway, and it will be, uh, of course, Old Men winning that fight. And uh, in fact, actually, they're looking to even maybe be on all four hills or three hills, excuse me. You've got player four, Demise, who's looking to challenge player number nine. I just hope he doesn't get too greedy. He has a big two piece coming out from Shock. He actually ended up dying by his teammate, has had a team kill. I wonder how that would have gone had that not happened. But again, they still have numbers, they still have control. Shock is going to get the kill onto Morality off of spawn. Now you're going to see Bollix making his way over towards B. Not an early Lancer fire coming through. You're going to see Bollix kind of pinned down into that hill. Not a good spot you want to be in. He's just getting surrounded by members of old men. <laughs> it's. Weird, it sounds weird yeah. to say, right? Like, it definitely does. I wasn't going to point it out. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but hey, it's out there now in the universe. And it is what it is. They are old men after all. Speaking of, who is the oldest one on this roster? I was going to say, they, they call themselves old men, but like, I don't know what that makes me or you if these guys are old men, because these guys are all still kids to me. But, you, you know, we'll, we'll get to that later on. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, B still neutralized. Scoreline very tight. An old man still leads, but not by much. Bravo is going to be an absolute necessity to lock in, and uh, looks like they're going to do so. Tidy and shock. Good teamwork. Take down Lanarchy and Abolix. Lanarchy's been struggling over there in the uh, the cinema fight. He's not really having uh, good luck at all, whether it's versus Tidy or whether it's 2v1s. He's just not picking up a lot of eliminations, so he's going to be a big breaking point, I think, for this ALRM roster who needs to step it up. Either way, though, scoreline still close. Oldman is leading. They've got the two to one hill advantage. But at this point, if ALRM can uh, neutralize or take over the neutral or even go for the overextension, they can put themselves in a winnable position. So Oldman needs to uh, hang on as much as they can. See him getting aggressive, kind of pushing them out. That gives them that much more control over that neutral hill. Looks like on the other end, though, Lanarchy will take out Shock. So a 4v3 in favor of ALRM. And now they're starting to collapse on the cinema side. We're going to see the trades come through. Detox hits a big kill onto Abolix. That's going to give him the revive that Detox does with Detox. Does with I know, big two-piece and Taylor. That should do it for this round. 100% should definitely be it. This fight is is a moot point. Lanarchy is just going to retro out, but he's weak. He's down. And that's another round for old men to take it two to one. But still, back and forth we go. An answer from ALRM is probably just around the corner. But I got to say, you know, it, it comes down to Detox pulling off the big moves. Tidy winning those 1v1s for the neutral, right? These are all critical points. That uh, at this point in time, ALRM needs to start capitalizing on. We we talk about a bollocks. He's had great plays, but is it going to be enough to carry the rest of the roster? If you have one player out of your four already struggling like Lanarchy, right? That that's a huge burden to have. Not to put everything on him, but again, he needs to step it up whenever he's in those one v ones versus Tidy. Let's see if round number four could be any different. Last round of the first half. Play, obviously, again, not a single weapon on the center line yet, so no, uh, nothing crazy to fight for. You're going to probably see a very, very similar initial, right? A lot of mirroring, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Again, a few players on one side, one in the middle, and then one at the 1v1. Players in here by that early utility. You're going to see Shock at some early shotgun fire onto a Bollix. The incense do come into play, and Demise is going to strike first with a kill onto a Bollix. Shock and to stay alive. Finally does get dropped, but the question becomes, can Morality get the finish? He's tagged up quite a bit himself. The revive does come through. Demise is going to miss the first shot, but he's not going to miss the melee. Numbers advantage now Ooh. favoring old men. As oh, this is falls. scary. This is scary. Tidy also wins his fight versus Lanarchy. He's going to let him bleed out, and that puts old men on the OE. They're going in on all three hills. ALRM should be able to stay alive, but Abolix has to get in and at least get the trade onto one. He can't, but he did get the touch. It's going to allow more time for ALRM to spawn back in, but Tidy is also on the flank, and that's going to be it. Big fights all around. The OE was possible, obviously, because of that great fight on to Bandstand. But regardless, though, again, Lanarchy losing that 1v1 to Tidy, it just made it that much easier for Old Men to get on all three hills at that point in time. And that nets them a 3-1 to one lead into the second half. Now we'll see if they choose to use the center line. Looks like you're still going to see the Bulltalks on the side. You're going to see now what... ALRM chooses to do, and it looks like they're going to continue just to go ahead and mirror them. So 
This is a big round to me, honestly, Taylor. This is probably one of those swing rounds, right? You look at this and you say, okay, if old men are able to get out to a 4-1 lead, I mean, you got to imagine they close that one out. In the meantime, sure. ALRM, what that basically means is that you need to get this round. Otherwise, you could potentially, like I said, put yourself in a very big hole against a veteran team. So we're going to see what they do. Of course, ALRM did pick this district map as well. So to go down this early on their map pick is a little surprising, of course. It's like this initial, though, starting off a lot better for them here on district. Detox is going to fall. Shock has fallen as well. A very clean initial coming through as ALRM does come out with a four versus two advantage. Big 2v2 in mid right now. Player seven's going to be a bit too far away to help. The instance thrown doesn't connect. Amai's about to be isolated in about a 1v3. Not much he can do there. He's finished off. Now you got a Bollocks who's also going to be land or excuse me, snubbing out. Shock, he's trying to run away. ALRM getting much closer to being on to D. They haven't fully committed yet, and I don't think they're... Well, here they go. They're finally coming in for it. Now it's Detox. He's going to be the one. He's going to be the playmaker to try and stop. The rest of his teammates are coming off a spawn, but surprisingly enough, they back off. They don't want that fight, and honestly, that's not that's not a bad uh, strategy to go with. So not at all. You're going to see Detox make his way through. Obviously, pushing back a bollocks as far as he can. So Anarchy knows exactly where he is. A lot of information coming through from both ends. You're going to see old men begin to make their move over towards that neutral hill. Of course, you know that ALRM is set up pretty well for it as well. So, have a good old clean fight. Looks like utility in the hands of Demise and Tidy right now. The counter utility in the hands of Lanarchy and then a send grenade in the hands of Morality. So, plenty to work with on both ends. Rocky and tagged him quite a bit. Shock looks to finish him off. Tries to get one kill, but Morality's there on the trade. And it looks like this engagement will favor ALRM as three members do fall from old men and only two fall on the side of ALRM. To save some time though for old men as detox won that 1v1 versus a bollocks just up ahead and now he's going to be in a 1v2 stuck between the flames and two bodies he will drop but again he wasted enough time and uh believe it or not they might be uh just as close to getting onto e i say that but morality is going to be in mid to be able to lance route to kind of keep them at bay but this lead from ALRM is, is pretty devastating. Old men, they're using all three members to try and get onto E, but even so, they've got to go for the overextension, and the big playmaker here could be Lanarchy, who might be going for the OE himself. Let's say Old Men does break out, they do get on F. Uh, he might be the savior, if you will, but not a lot of time, Ryan. It comes down to this. Yeah, it really comes down to this one last push, and Abolix is going to optimize right in his tracks with that incense grenade. It's going to make it that much harder to finish this fight off. Shock is going to get one. You're gonna see his teammates begin to make their move for that home hill, but look at the defense coming through from ALRM. The hills have been decapped, but Shock in the middle of a 1v2 over at the neutral. Shock gets one, gets the mutual. No way. Can he make it a second, Taylor? Don't tell me he oh. does it. He does get knocked out by Rocky, and that might just do it. The fight on the home hill is gonna finish. The cap on the neutral hill. And man, oh man, Taylor, that almost became something crazy. It really did, man. And, and, you know, we've seen it time and time again. And it's just it's one of those things. The round's not over till it's over. And uh, with Gears, right, these rounds are so unique for old men. There was just too many 1v1s, too many heroic plays that had to be won. And they had to be won properly in order to take that victory. Um, it just became an impossible task. So for ALRM, good job on them for holding on. Again, a good audible. Uh, most teams would have continued to press forward. Remember that initial, right? They they could have been all over the home hill, but the problem was they would have been facing respawn after respawn of old men just pushing directly into them. So they backed off and they let old men take their own home hill. They let them recuperate, get the numbers back. But in the end, they shut them down one by one as they were trying to push forward and get their hands on the neutral and try and retake control. So good job on ALRM for re, uh, you know seeing the situation for what it was, backing off and not being scared of having the round be extended. But here we go, round number six. Old men still on the cusp of leading four to two if they get to that point they're gonna be very close to winning yeah, i mean that was a big must win round for alrm i think that you can tie this one up to three three man you're gonna put this one right at a clean slate of course in the side of old men they're looking to do exactly what you said they're looking to push this one out to a four two and take a stranglehold of their opponent's map pick you played a lot slower here you're gonna see alrm just kind of playing a bit defensive but in the meantime old men will get that cap on the hill and Eventually this first down as well. Lanarchy will fall. A couple members will go down. And Taylor, that's going to position them actually really well for the ALRM home hill. Yeah, and ALRM is now going to have to push in. These set players 7 and 9 of Bollocks Morality are the only players up for their team before Lanarchy and Rocky get back into it. They're forced to get in and get a touch. That's their only winnable situation, or at least the situation to stay alive. But of course, it's not going to work out. And Old Men will take it 4-2. to two. Phenomenal work on their part. That was fantastic stuff. I mean, and more importantly, you saw where the kills took place, right? So those two members of ALRM basically went down 
pretty close to their home hill. So put them in a position where those two players were able to secure those elims and then just be a, a hop, a skip, and a jump away from that home hill. At the same time, the remaining two players have to basically just run into the blender, right? Just run straight onto that neutral hill that's being surrounded by team fire. So beautiful stuff coming out from old men. They now find themselves up four to two here on the ALRM map pick. And you're still, Taylor, not going to see a single weapon on the center line. I would like to see a, a weapon on the center line. I really would because that pick, uh, pins, you know, detox going against a Bollix. I think it would be a phenomenal 1v1. More importantly, uh, I think the slain power in both ends is probably, ob well, obviously at this point, way more heavily to old men. But I think isolating in that situation would be beneficial for ALRM because what they're doing now just isn't working. But either way, they are going to have three members on to E. That's a lot of presence. But don't know if they're going to be able to get it just yet. Player five does fall in mid. That's going to be tidy. So now odds are going to be in ALRM's favor. Is they're going to go ahead and backtrack. The OE is there. So DNF is going to be locked in for old men. So ALRM is going to have to kind of divvy up their forces to try and gain some type of control if they can. You're going to see kind of both teams sort of searching for positioning, right? If you're on the side of old men, you're trying to figure out exactly these members of ALRM are going to strike because obviously they have the home hills. You see some good team fire over onto a Bollix. The utility is now going to be in play. That shot grenade is going to put a bit of a, a slowdown at least into this push, but they're still persevering. They're still making it happen. That's going to give them the F hill. Demise realizes that they are out, man. He moves his way all the way to their side, but a Bollix is hot on his tail. Big fight coming down. Demise versus a Bollix. A Bollix has the team fire on the back end to finish it off, and now just like that, the home hills starting to be traded out. Now Abolix finds himself fighting over on the old men spawn. <laughs> Quite a bit going on is they're not ALRM at this point, just trying to gain any foothold in the match that they can, but they're doing a good job at it. Lanarchy, he's going to be by himself. Tough spot, Lancers are out, he will drop. Now that puts seven and eight in a difficult spot. They're going to have to try and stay where they are. We've got to close this deficit. It's become a little bit too much. And the problem is by the time they rotate down the E, I just don't know if they're going to be able to lock it in. So it comes down, they got to take down shock they have to take down demise but abolix is making good on that and those players will fall now detox and tidy last up and we do have another 1v1 right that's going to be tidy going against lanarchy this matchup has been going on literally the entire game but abolix will be there with the lancer fire to help lanarchy out and alrm will continue to close out that deficit now detox has a tough task in front of him so it looks like actually no maybe not i thought alrm would maybe make a push to that neutral but instead they're going to continue to fight onto these home mills and they're going to continue to actually slay out. Obviously, they still have some time for the win condition and detox as he's picking up the incense grenade almost falls, actually manages to stay alive. At least waste the incense on the way out. But ALRM, they find themselves now in all three hills. Shock as his best to oh, no. touch. Can he make it? He gets the touch to at least stop the break. He's going to fall. Demise tied the only ones left. Demise is going to get the touch he needs. No, oh, no. he doesn't. It looked like he might have made it in time, but unfortunately, the clock strikes midnight. ALRM, man, that was actually very impressive, Taylor. They held down their opposing team's home hill for a very, very long time, continued to build numbers, and then finished the round off on the neutral, which is not easy to do. No, it's hard to do, isn't it? Because, you know, those two players who are on the opposite side of the map, they don't have the help of uh, the teammates constantly respawning in, right? So if you're there, you're there. You're kind of in no man's land. If you have two players there and you lose one, now you're going to be in a 1vx situation because the enemies are just going to constantly be respawning nonstop straight into you. So good job from ALRM to hold that down. And we'll see our first centerline weapon. It's going to be a mark. So it doesn't really change much, but it is something to fight for. But Bandstan, if we get a torque bow or drop shot there, it's going to be Frax. We're going to see a lot of different routes and different fights. And it's going to be interesting to see how both teams kind of break up their forces here. This could be a... Honestly, this could be a quick round, depending on how this unfolds. And a whole lot of throwables in the map, right? You got shot grenades flying around, incense grenades. I get some frags in the center line. This is going to be a, this is gonna be a good one. Seeing Rocky trying to dodge some of that early utility. First down is going to come underway. Detox, Tidy, they're both going to be knocked out. That's going to be how it looks like a three versus two advantage in favor of ALRM. The shock, sorry, shock is going to go ahead and grab those frag grenades, but he's going to actually fall. I do believe that is now to give a bollocks the frag grenades as well so alrm actually has a lot to work with boys on old men have one last chance to touch the hill they do get the touch but they're gonna fall one by one tidy detox can they get it done tidy gets one 
Demise gets another. Is it going to be enough? Actually, Taylor, I do think they managed to stay alive through the neutral. Uh, they definitely did. Demise now is going to pressure back uh, Morality. He won the fight. That was critical. And like you said, Oldman will stay alive. Uh, player 5 is coming off the spawn, so I think he's going to go ahead and try and gather onto F. Rock is going to stay in no man's land. He's okay with the situation. If he loses his life, uh, you know, he's just going to respawn back up and get back into it. But he'll go ahead and retreat, try and be joined by his teammates, but he's not going to make it out of this no way, no how. And uh, just like that, old men, they're going to have that 2-1 to one hill advantage. So they'll start closing out the deficit 60 points down. That's quite a bit. So a lot of ground to cover, but still early in the round. So they do have the potential to do it. But already, though, you look at ALRM. They have presence onto E. It's not going to be easy to get onto a player four who's going to be there to be able to lance her out. But still, they're trying. Oh, it's taken this such low health. Finally does get taken out. You're going to see a collapse now starting to take place over on the neutral. Old men do contain those numbers. Now sitting at a four versus two advantage, trying to claw back into this. They're now down about 30 points as we head past that 100 point mark. But they're looking to extend that lead even further out. They're looking to take away that D Hill coming from ALRM on the backside. Rocky tries his best to fight, but he's going to be dropped as well. Taylor, this is approaching trip cap territory. It definitely is. And the shock, it limits their ability to be able to push through one choke point demise forced back but coming back in his teammates are there the numbers are with old men and alrm will fall short on their map pick five three as old men will take a 1-0 lead in this series good job from them you know there's a couple of shaky points there really was and alrm was looking great in multiple moments but i think overall the consistency of the teamwork the slaying potential whether it be from tidy winning those 1v1s or detox pulling off those heroic plays right old men just kind of had a little bit more in their corner and that's why they were able to secure the victory now they find themselves taylor one map away from securing our first pro league spot here at the lcq and and it kicked off on your opponent's map pick is always a very, very big boost of confidence as you head into your own second map. And we talked about just just how strong they looked on that very, very map. So old men looking very, very poised. We're going to see it be a big, big, big bounce back coming from the boys on ALRM. And again, now they're heading into training grounds. Most importantly, their map pick, but also they were able to get a 5-1 victory versus Remedy just a little bit earlier. They looked absolutely phenomenal and no one was able to shut them down. And that 1v1, by the way, between Tidy and Lanarchy, I hate to continually harp on that, but that's going to be a 1v1 that's going to be happening on the neutral when the three members of both teams decide to go to Overlook as well. So whoever wins that Overlook fight, let's say Old Men wins that Overlook fight again, Tidy takes down Lanarchy, that's a domination coming in within 30, 40, 50 seconds, right? So that 1v1 is going to be absolutely critical for Lanarchy to step up and start winning. He cannot allow Tidy to continue to take him out. There's just too much risk of a domination from that perspective. Regardless, though, for old men, the slaying power of the teamwork, it just looks great. You said that er, literally when we started this show, L literally when we started this tournament, Ryan, you hyped up old men. You said they've been there. They've done that. They've got chemistry. I'm seeing all of that. Yeah, I mean, this is a team that obviously beyond being the number one seed, you just look at the team on paper as well. This is a team that we probably already expected to be in the pro league, right? When you look at some of the guys that fill out this roster, but they now find themselves here in the LCQ and they are cleaning up pretty much business as usual, right? They've kind of cruised all the way through this tournament. And now again, they have one more map separating them from the rest of their nice Valentine's Day, right? They got to take one more <laughs> and then they can be on their way and then have a nice dinner with the, the pro league spot in their back pocket. So see how training grounds goes you said it yourself they look so so good on training grounds in that yeah. first matchup against remedy so you got to imagine they're feeling good well i gave out a positive let me give out i, I guess a negative if you will um they did lose and speaking in regards to old men they did lose to remedy on asylum five to four so very close came down to the wire super good or super good map overall but they have shown that they can take an l on a map so far granted last series that they played uh they won 2-0 but that's a totally different story. So ALRM, don't know how good they are in Asylum, but regardless, though, they do have the potential to maybe take that map number three. Who knows? That's just a general assessment, right? I'm not really too familiar, but we'll see how it does go. But this training round is going to be a big test uh, for ALRM. I really feel that district map was a must win for them, and now they're putting themselves in dangerous territory of dropping down to the loser bracket. Yeah, definitely. And again, even whatever team loses this matchup, obviously, right, you're still in that tournament as a double E limb and you still find yourselves one series away. But I think it's uh, definitely you have a lot more, a lot more confidence, a lot more feel good getting through on the winner's side versus having to go through that gauntlet of a loser's bracket. Of course, you got to play some team that potentially has momentum making a run on that bottom side. Much cleaner, much easier, much safer to win through the winner's bracket side. So we'll see what these guys got in store for us. Of course, I know boys and old men, they, they're just counting down when they when they feel like they're going to make the pro league. So we'll see what this map does it for them.
Here we go, getting into the training grounds again. This is a phenomenal map for the uh, the guys on Old Men. They play this so very well. Really got to hone in on Tidy versus Lanarchy, that 1v1 for the neutral. Assuming we do have that 3-1 to one split that we typically see, I assume for round one we will see that split as both teams kind of fill out who has the better slaying power, who has the better strategy. Uh, but yeah, here, we do have it going down. So again, it's going to be Lanarchy versus Tidy down there for Bravo. So this up top fight is going to be very, very important. If we see Old Men win this, ALRM could be in trouble. This fight was so impactful last time. Detox, he gets one. Is he going to do it again? Just like that, Taylor. A two-piece coming out from Detox. They are just so, so good at that fight. And here comes Lanarchy versus Tidy. You wanted to see this matchup. Oh, Lanarchy got it. does get the better of him, though. That's going to secure the neutral hill. And that's going to keep ALRM alive in this map. And well done again. He doesn't win that fight. This is over in the way of a domination. It's just the way that it is, right? So at this point in time, ALRM, they are alive. They're not thriving. They still have a lot of work to be done. Getting that neutral just kept them in the round. Now it's time to start thriving. As we'll see, Detox still popping off and into the blender, ALRM goes. And uh, now we're going to see Tidy, of course, going back for that 1v1 once again. Lanarchy just putting pellet after pellet into him. But now he's got a wall of old men coming his way. Comes through. It's a nice spread on Demise. I thought for sure he got the elimination, but he doesn't. Uh, but hey, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Now ALRM, they have numbers, and they're going to successfully push Oldman back. But look at the lead Oldman were able to accumulate. Yeah, they managed to fight back. I do want to point out, by the way, that first attempt at the home hill retake was was just... If you're, if you're watching at home, you're trying to learn, that's, that's one good example of how to not use utility. You saw they threw the first flashbang, didn't move. The second flashbang, didn't move. After they threw the third flashbang, they decided to push. But at that point, it wasn't that good of a utility, and they just got mowed down. So that's that's one of the poor uses of utility that you want to stay away from. What I would have liked to see there is them throw the first piece of utility, move forward, throw your second follow-up one, right, to, to, try to try to throw them off their toes. Because you saw how easy that was for old men. Good catch on that, Ryan. Absolutely. I mean, come on, using your utility, you have it. Utilize it effectively, and don't be so timid in, in uh, using it and making sure that you go and go forth and just react in general. Interesting stuff, man. Old man, uh, you know, there, right now we have ALRM who's going to be on all three hills. If a Mr. Krabs happens here, I'm going to be very disappointed in old man. I'm not going to lie because they have played it so well. But it looks like we will not get that Mr. Krabs, in fact, as player two was able to clutch up on the other side. Or actually, excuse me, player seven, that's going to be detox. So at this point in time, old man will have the two to one hill advantage. And uh, we're just counting down really to seconds until uh, ALRM loses this round and old man takes a one oh lead. Really look strong here. This is sort of the last ditch effort, but you're going to see so many hills to go to. So little time, obviously. Now we're only in 4v4 as well. So one less player to move towards a hill. Old men, they are going to strike first on training grounds. Well done from them. 1-0 lead. A bit longer of a first round than uh, their matchup between Ramity. If you remember, I think first round was only 34 seconds, but that can be owed up to, again, Lanarchy winning that 1v1 for the neutral against Tidy. That made all the difference in the world. But even so, uh, of course, ALRM was just not able to gain any type of control whatsoever. You pointed out the uh, you know non-effective use of the flashes, of the utilities, just didn't work out. We're going to have to see those things be cleaned up or else old men is just going to have their way with ALRL much like they did on District just a little bit before. Old talks are there, though, and I uh, can't wait to see round two. I really can't because I want to see will we see maybe some lessons learned from ALRM. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm looking forward once again this initial, right? Obviously, we've seen just how strong Detox in particular is at that fight. Obviously, Shock very impactful as well. I think that if ALRM and not shut those two guys down. They're gonna have a tough, tough time on this map. Detox head of the spear, he's gonna go ahead and get that early utility out, he's gonna push them back. You're gonna see the second and third waves of utility start to move out. Detox and Shock, not getting quite as aggressive as usual, I think, because they see the amount of players that are out there. The first down is underway, but the revive is there. Here we go, Taylor, once again. Oh, yeah. They just don't seem to lose this fight very often. Not at all, man. And they're going to continue to pressure for Morality's doing everything he can in that choke point. But there's only so much you can do. Granted, he is definitely giving it a good go, but just a little bit too much space between him and Detox. And Detox will win that fight. Now Tidy's going to have some help by the name of Shock. They're going to try and lock in Bravo. Someone's got to get a touch. You just got to go for it. Throw your life away if you can. Well, that's going to be Rocky. And he's not going to throw his life away. He's going to come in and capitalize, take down Tidy, and lock in the neutral. But again, just like round one, we're going to see ALRM in the same situation now fighting for their own home hills. Oldman has the lead and the 2-1 to hill advantage. Looking good. You see Detox in that full spread. Demise is going to end up falling the trades. 
They just get that Mitchell's gonna make it a little tougher. Abolic's able to actually get two. That's gonna give them now two hills here as Oldman do cross the 100 point mark. Of course, still plenty of round to go. Kind of see exactly where these players are starting to move off of spawn. You're gonna see Rocky versus Tidy. Of course, that is gonna at least break the hill. It's gonna maintain the old men lead, but Rocky is gonna end up winning that fight. So ALRM lost the B hill for just a little bit of time, but do manage to secure it once again. Now we gotta find out where old men chooses to make their push, right? They wanna go for that neutral hill again. Obviously, Demise is already sort of set up over there, but you're gonna see the boys on ALRM. They know they have the hill. There's no reason for them to be down there in the trenches, right? Sure. They move back, <laughs> get some good Lancer crosses. If I'm old men, I'm taking my time here, really formulating a plan and uh, just not going in recklessly, right? I don't want to throw my life away and just be in a 3v4 or, or whatever type of situation. But they're not going to take their time. They're going to go in. They're going to get the break on the neutral B. Tidy's going to stick it. He's going for the full cap. ALRM has three players there who can go for the challenge, but none of them want to. But granted, you do have Demise who's on the neutral, right? So he's going to be able to lance around. Then on the overlook position, you have player number eight by Shock, right? So he's going to be able to lance around too. So it's not as simple as just hopping in, I guess. But either way, I, I felt like that was almost a free hill. And at this point, player seven also wins against player four. Lanarchy falls and all three hills have been broken. Old man, they're about to get the domination. The only player remaining, Taylor is Apollox up here. There's not a single hill he can go towards. He's literally between a rock and a hard place. Just like that, man, snap of a finger. The boys on old men just take control of the round, extend that lead out to 2-0. And Taylor, at this point, it just feels like a matter of time, right? It just, I think, I think we're starting it, it really to does. Feeling. It really it, 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 Am I mean for continually pointing out Lanarchy? I, I, I hope I'm not. But again, he's in that 1v1 at the home hill. He needs to take down Detox. That's a tough task, right? Detox is just playing amazing. But he loses that fight. Of course, the rest of his teammates lost the fight on B, right? That's kind of where it all crumbled away because even if Detox wins that fight, you expect uh, ALRM in that defensive position to be able to lock in B. But instead, they 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 gave it to them for free. By the way, 0 and 10. 0 and 10 for Shock, okay? I like that. You know, I like that. Kenny, we had Kenny on E-Days, right? And I think he was trying to to go flawless with, like, all assists and zero kills. Let's see if it can be carried on by Shock. Can Shock literally go and win this, get a pro league spot with only assist? We're going to find out. Taylor, once again, man, this initial, right? It doesn't matter who you put in front of him, man. Something about this initial in this old man roster, they are just... Damn near flawless at this point, man. Look at that. That's going to be an instant three dead. And that's what makes it so hard, obviously, when you're, when you're losing your initials. I was talking to Blaze about it in our last match. When you continually put yourself in a hole to start off rounds, oh my it's just gosh. so much harder to win. And right now, in there. Anarchy, once again, has, has the impossible task of having to jump over into just an array of Lancers. There's just nothing you yeah. can do. They, they mow over the initial at the U. They instantly march to the home hill. Next thing you know, you have this player who has the unfortunate task of having to, like, fight for this one B hill that, that's just, of course, is like a god spot over it. They can just drill right into it. It's just, if you don't win that fight at you, it makes life hard. It's, or or at know, least contest, at least get a kill back. That, that's the thing. Well, it's like, it, it, you exactly. get one or two kills, you slow it down, that's okay. But if you just get completely wiped, it's just, it's so hard. Well, it, you know, you and Blaze bring up a great point talking about the initials. Like, why was Oldman so successful in winning training grounds versus Remedy? It's not because Remedy necessarily played bad. Remember that round they won? They played it really well. Teamwork-wise, like, they were on point in that one round. Okay, I think that was round five. But, again, if you don't win the initials, by the way, Shock still uh, zero kills, 11 assists. One death, by the way. Very impressive. But, obviously, I think that's an atonement to his uh, assist. He's able to kind of hang back. Lone Shot's going to be on B. It's going to make that fight between Lanarchy and Tidy that much more impressive but again if you're not getting kills you're not gonna win plain and simple like this is the way it is that's why remedy lost uh as as hard as they did earlier but hey rocky will start off on the detox that's the player you want to take down for demise he's gonna be full red as well lenarchy goes in he's gonna be able to get the trade and uh and actually get the finish on tidy as well he popped off long shots in their possession they're going for the domination and detox is the only one standing for old men much, much, much better start coming through from ALRM. Finally showing some signs of life here on the training grounds. And there could be plenty of map to go. We know how strong this team can be as well. And that's what you got to do when you are facing off against a team like this is you have to fight back on the initials. Again, I don't care who you are. I don't care what level it's at. If you're not winning the initials, very, very hard to compete. So that will close out our first half. Of course, a 3-1 scoreline in favor of Old Ben. That hill is now going to shift. So what that means, Taylor, is that fight becomes that much more important over at the U, of course. We do know the snipe has been moved out. We know how strong the snipe is, so that's going to be something that you can't ignore. But now the hill's no longer there, so that makes the fight that much more different. Let me say this, by the way, because I've been very hard on him. Lanarchy popped off on that B fight, okay? Let's he just be you. very clear. He, he heard he, the slander. He, 
it, it, and, and I'm all for it. If he's going to pop off like that, maybe I should slander a little bit more whenever teams are down and out. Okay. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm saying. Either way, good job for him for winning that fight. Uh, that secured the round for them. And now we head into the second half. Again, you mentioned a long shot, but the big fight is going to be on that neutral side. We got shocks. We got incense. Uh, shocks isn't going to be picked up, but for ALRM, uh, Abolix does take his time to pick up that incense. So that's going to be hugely beneficial in this initial, especially if it can connect. That instant kill potential to take one member down, force a 3v2 is huge, but they need to use it now. Old men is starting to pop off, and the instant goes to waste. No! Nazi Shock continue to move forward, trying to secure this last player. Hits a full spread, but Abolix is going to fight back. Trades will be there. Detox gets this final kill. It's going to give a lot of good positioning to old men. Now the snipe's going to be in the hands of Tidy, so they have power up and control. They have hill control. They have time control, map control. They got a whole lot of control right now. So we'll see what ALRM does off spawn. We'll see if they make that move over towards the neutral hill. If they make the move over towards the opposing team's home hill, it looks like the neutral is their choice. Morality is about to be in trouble, man. He put himself in no man's land. He gets brought down. He was by himself. He should have waited just a little bit longer, and he'll get taken down. But... He was aggressive, he was hungry, and unfortunately he doesn't get to eat today. Shock's gonna be lancered out just across the way. I believe that's from Lanarchy, so good pressure onto him. It's gonna make him a little bit weaker, but regardless, it will not help Rocky. We also see Detox come in with Tidy. Lanarchy will fall Rocky as well. A little extra love. You gotta show it, I guess, man. Let them know who you are. But either way, you don't have to say it. We already know what's taking place, my guys. Old men leading the way hard. They certainly are. And Continuing to build this lead, it looks like ALRM looking to potentially move towards that neutral hill yet again. Of course, the snipe being over at the home hill makes it pretty difficult. You can see the angle Tidy has right now, misses a couple snipe shots on the other side, but he's going to finally be pushed by Morality, so you're going to have a potential 1v1 for this hill. So Tidy just playing it slow. You see the teamwork coming through right as he makes the call out. On the backside, here comes some teamwork coming through from ALRM, but Tidy's going to shut down a bollocks on the backside. Lanarchy is going to fall. And Taylor, this is looking like yet another old men round. I think so. Even with that neutral going the way of ALRM, immediately finished off. That was Rocky trying it, and Detox was able to get that kill. Morality now left standing, and he's just forced to back off. He really can't get anywhere, which is highly unfortunate. Either way, ALRM will not be able to get to the neutral in time. So Oldman will take it 4-1 to one in a very winnable position. Looking to replicate what the, the success they had earlier versus Remedy here on TG. Map number one. And uh, that they won five to one, right? So they might get the same here. Now the real question is a shock. Did he get a kill this round? Yes, Looks he like did. He did. He did. Still plenty of assists over there, and only three <laughs> deaths. So he's been a lot of impact. And of course, I love having the kills and assists broken out. Now it makes it makes it really cool to yeah. kind of get a better idea of the performances. And speaking of a performance, man, it's been one hell of a performance from his team here on training grounds once again. Up. Four to one now, of course, ALRM not out of this yet, but they do need to be flawless if they are going to force this to a map number three. It looks like they're going to go ahead and upgrade that Retro Lancer. Let's see what Abolix chooses to place. So they put another center line weapon out. They continue to invest in the sides. They got to do something. Looks like we might get a bolt talk. Okay, so with a bolt talk and a Retro down low, how much do you think that changes things, changes the initial? You, you assume we still have that 3v3 on eight. You gotta imagine, the last time they put three players over towards the neutral, one player to kind of 1v1 for that rifle, you gotta imagine it's gonna be the same, which it seemingly is. And again, you have a similar scenario. You got a very, very strong fight over at the U for the side of old men, and you get that good old 1v1 you're asking for. So this is broken out pretty nicely. The first kill, once again, coming to the hands of Demise. Toxic in the right behind enemy lines, has a great line of sight over to Morality. This will put some team fire now over to Apollix, and this round is going just like pretty much every training rounds round has gone for this yeah. old men squad. They are just they're just not getting contested at that fight very well. They just continue to wipe it three down. And, and so unfortunate, right, for ALRM is the fact that Detox was able to live rent free and Lancer out at the remaining two members from ALRM, right? If he's challenged, not even taken down, but challenged, he doesn't get the Lancer like that. And maybe there's a better chance for ALRM to break out of that, but it's just so unfortunate it doesn't happen. Lanarchy, nothing he can do there. He's getting Lancer from every angle. Detox finally lays him out. And I guess the only benefit is old men, you know, they're just now getting over towards F. So at this point, they should be able to respawn and at least challenge Detox to stay alive. 
I mean, right now they're at a four versus one advantage. Detox on the hill. You think they had the snipe somewhere? Maybe they didn't pick it up from Lanarchy, but here comes Lanarchy trying to get that touch, trying to buy his team as much time as possible. Players will come off spawn of Bollocks. He's gonna get the next touch, but Taylor, this one just feels like a matter of time. Three, two, one. Nobody's able to touch the hill, and it took him some time to get there. But these boys on Old Men stamp themselves into the Pro League. Maybe old men, but they're going to be one of our newest pro teams joining into the mix. I cannot wait to watch this roster play in pro league. They earned it. They really did. They played very well, looked poised, looked in control, great teamwork, winning those fights, pulling off big plays, everything you expect from a pro caliber team. It's going to be a lot of fun to see these old men in action versus the best of the best, whether it be against VQ, PK, Hive, FNI, Rated R, whoever you put against them, you better not take them lightly because they might surprise you and take you out.